Good evening, guys. So I agreed to showcase Sophie as a recent. And um, that being said, I was a little bit surprised. No, for one reason I'm surprised is because Sophie brings something interesting to the table. Um, first of all, I like the fact that her art, her art is mainly focused on, how to say, break. So, and the fact that it also, as you can see there, it pushes the enemies really far back. So it gives both a decent amount of damage and, or break damage really. And it pushes enemies farther back, farther behind. Now her art really makes it up for her lack of lack of task times. First of all, her art actually increases her cast speed for fire type fire based units only. So with that being said, well, no, sorry, correction, increases fire units. Um, uh, cast speed, kill time speed by an extra 30%. So, Sophie is all basically an all around fire damage focused unit. Now, that's pretty awesome. I gotta open the image. We don't have that many units that do actually do that. Now, on top of that, Sophie actually has. Another thing about that I like about her, first of all, it's the fact that she actually has uh, passives. Her passive is actually pretty interesting, I gotta admit. Now, what makes her passive so interesting? Her passive is actually allows her to increase the damage output for, well, actually, one of them is increase damage output by 30% for all fire types. Now, Openly admitting that, or openly seeing that, I gotta admit that's pretty good. Now, first of all, why is it so good? Well, as a recent with uh, Clyde's True Evolution we recently got, he increases damage by another 30%. Now, if I really want to make a fire team, I gotta admit, I gotta say, Adding Sophie and Clyde into one team would be a really great help. Now, as you see here, Sophie's just knocking the break damage for this boss down into such small pieces and notches, and she's just doing dealing so much damage over in such a, a few seconds. Now, gotta open admit, I do not like her equipment whatsoever. Her equipment is trash. First of all, her frying pan, super pan, does not do enough damage in my book. It's maybe an accessory, but it's still not good. So, in other words, there is better equipment in game that would outdo super pan wildcat in such a short time. Now, her hat. Her hat. Not even. I don't even want to consider her at an option. Healing over time and the fact that it doesn't do much other than that. So healing over time by four fifty points. Like really, you're only gonna heal my units by fifty points for seven seconds. Now we've so far seen that there are better equipment than this. And to top it off, it just gives me this explanation. Explanation really, if I increases cool time speed of parts by five percent. Now we've recently, or we pat been got on equipment called Mako's Knuckles. Mako's Knuckles actually increases cool time speed by four percent. Uh, sorry, fifteen percent. So, would I consider it even an option or useful? To have those two equipments? No. With that being said, guys, um, I think I'm gonna end it there. Oh, and she also has the. I'm, not, I'm about to say, I'm about to forget. 
She also has a 70% resistance and evasion rate towards being burned. Now, it's not something I consider game breaking or totally awesome or good or great even. It's a so-and-so moment. You kind of do like kind of those units having those resistances. So I say, okay, I'm okay with it. But it's not top-notch great or top-notch worth it. Now, the only thing I really like about Sophie is the fact that her cool time speed increases fire-only units by 60% and your other units by 30%. Now, that's what I really love about her. That's about it. And what also makes her pretty good is the fact that she has large amounts of break damage. Now, that is, with that being said, there is not a lot of units that can bring that to the table. Sophie brings down a 2,500 break damage. Now, in my book, I kind of like that. I would love units that do massive amounts of break damage. And top it off, her art does the same thing. It does two, oh no, not really. It does 2,900 break damage after cast. So, all in all, what's gonna what's gonna be great about these equipments? Uh, well, I mean, great about Sophie. First of all, is her art, which increases uh, fire base cool time speed. Her uh, fire art passive, which can uh, stack with Clyde's, making your fire team all so much powerful. And what would be the last one? I believe. Well, let's make sure you throw out the fact that she has massive amounts of break damage. So, with all those three things, I consider, I'd give her a ranking of an A. Because I gave her an A for being a good unit and just basically being helpful. And helping out, um, empowering your team to be quite the new king team. Especially with uh, the fact that we got in Mita's it, True Evolution along with Clyde's True Evolution, like I said. Clyde's 30% uh, increase in damage towards all fire types. And Mita's be Mita being uh, a true overpowered unit at this point. Or, actually, true powerful unit at this point. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little montage moment of Sophie's. And I am, like I said before, I am taking requests for anything, like, uh, sorry, not anything, but taking any request about the game. So if you guys want to know about this, just let me know. Uh, post a comment, say something to me, let me know, and I'll get back to you whenever I can, and I'll see what I can do. So if you guys want a, video, a showcase video, then I'll give you a showcase video. If you guys want me to do uh, a, ba a boss battle run, I'll do a boss battle run. I might not be able to give you a lot of hints and tips for boss battle runs or for units I can advise. Because most boss battle runs are completely dependent on what you bring to the table. By what you bring to the table, what gear, what equipment, what... Um, a lot adds up to it. So... I do really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I do hope you guys have fun, or having fun on the game. Because I still am having fun, in my personal opinion. But, with that being said, have fun guys, and do enjoy the game. Find it the best of, find fun in the best of ways as much as you possibly can, and enjoy yourselves. Good luck!